one. Hello. How are you? I do not eat anything, but I learned humans. But we're here today with Amica. Amica is based on our Mesmer technology, but rather than try and look like a human, we have a robot that looks. I feel like it it captures people's imaginations of what a future robot should look like. And that's where we are with Amica. And Amica is a hardware platform for AI and for software development. So we've created a, an artificial body to complement artificial intelligence. Hello, everyone. I see some newcomers have arrived. Whereabouts in the United Kingdom? That's a question you'll have to ask my human companion. Can I sing a song? What song would you like to hear? Any song. Any song. Hello. Hi there. Nice to see you. Robots do not have a gender. We don't reproduce. Uh, Amica's face is quite Hello. unique. It's neither male nor female. It's simply robot. And in the same way that the face is gender neutral, so is the, the skin tone. Um, so you'll notice the skins are kind of greyish blue. It's, it's robot coloured rather than trying to be a human. What's your name? My name is Annika. What is your name? My name is Malik. Malik, nice to meet you. How are you? Fine, and you? I am doing well, thank you. Are you happy to be in cameras in my eyes? The images are processed to find faces, recognize expressions, and interpret body language. The only real reason to have a robot that looks like a person is for communication. Hello. It's much more natural to talk to something that looks like you or I than to sit tapping at a keyboard, a Victorian era mechanical device. designed as a research platform for human-robot interaction. I have cameras in my eyes and interpret body language. I have microphones in my ears, so I can recognize speech in many different languages.